What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day number five. We're gonna be helping you overcome both mentally and physically messing up with the jump rope so that you can continue on with your workouts with very little frustration. All right guys, so it's common in jumping rope. Now when we're doing these workouts, the goal of the workouts is to be able to move very fluidly and smoothly through the workout, but Brandon and I still even have times when we mess up. Now the difference when we mess up is there is a strategy to get right back into jumping very quickly and one that a lot of people tend to do which kind of slows them down. First, before we get into today's video, I'm gonna have you guys do two sets of 30 seconds from yesterday's video just to practice because by now you know that we do that every day and then we'll move into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Practice two rounds from yesterday. What I want you guys focusing on is just that straight up and down motion, okay? Straight up and down motion and working on that posture, just nice straight back. Knees are slightly bent, toes to the ground, and you're just moving the rope around. It's not, you know, I want you guys to also work on different speeds with the jump rope. Um, again, guys, this beginner challenge is just to perfect your ability to do the regular bounce, so focus on that. All right guys, second round here. Really focus when you're doing this and really feel yourself with that right form. Feel your elbows in, feel your wrist controlling it, feel your feet only coming a little bit off the ground and take note of what that feels like. That's definitely gonna help you to remember how to do this going forward and how to make that stick so that you, know, you build this foundation to be able to do a bunch of other tricks and things like that. When most people mess up with the jump rope, as I'm about to show you, they stop and then they have to set their feet again, step over the rope and continue jumping. What, what I'm gonna teach you to do is a quick little side swipe move. So when you mess up, you just go bam, bam, and you're right back in play. So let's take a break and check out that clip right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first we're gonna start off when you mess up, this is the incorrect form. People stop, they step through their rope. Of course, I'm exaggerating it, but when you mess up, it's much slower to stop and step through the rope and then get your arms back in as opposed to just side swiping the rope. I know this might seem like a very minor detail, but it actually makes a huge difference in a workout where you could be potentially messing up a lot. Uh, the way I'm about to show you is the way to just correct that uh, and get back into your workout. You know, no matter how many times you mess up, it's nice and easy. So check it out. Now when I mess up, I'm doing a side swipe and opening the rope as I do it. So it's one, check that out and bam, right back into it. I don't have to move my feet, I don't have to get my arms centered or positioned again. I just do a little swing and then release my hands to open up the rope. Here we go again, you can watch it in slow motion. Now I know again guys, this might seem like such a minor detail, but in the grand scheme of a workout, it is actually very important and will help you just be less frustrated because you're not gonna be feeling like you're breaking your rhythm as much because when you hit it with your feet and you just do a quick side swipe, it's almost like you're just continuing that rhythm but with a side swipe. Okay guys, from a mental perspective, you have to understand that even people like Brandon and myself still mess up, but if you let that bother you, then you're going to have not very fun workouts. Just accept the fact that messing up is a part of it and that when you mess up, no matter how many times it is, you just do the quick side swipe and you get back into it. All right guys, next we're gonna do two 30 second periods where I am purposely messing up so I can show you the ease of getting back into your rhythm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're just gonna practice what we've learned. So um, you guys can just go ahead and do exactly what I'm doing here. As you see, I'm just side swiping and purposely messing up and then just side swiping myself back into it. Again, guys, this whole series and challenge is about um, you know being more fluid, finding your rhythm and everything like that. So we want to stress the importance of getting these little foundational elements down before you move on to being able to do some of the tricks and things like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna finish up, do 30 more seconds here, and then we have the run and place tutorial tomorrow, guys. So again, this is just a simple side swipe. We're coming, we're messing up, swinging it to, in this case, it's my right that I swing it to. You can swing it to your left, it doesn't matter. But all you're doing is just getting a little bit of forward momentum to swing that rope around and get right back on. So guys, messing up, don't worry about it. Side swipe and just keep doing your thing.
Make sure to come back for day six on tomorrow's video where we show you guys how to jump rope, run in place.